Hi, my name is John Chidaki. I'm from the California Digital Library, and I'm here uh, again to just discuss uh, the DMP tool project. My colleague Stephanie Sims was not able to make it today, but we wanted to bring this up at JROS because we thought it was applicable from a shared infrastructure perspective. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, the DMP tool is a very lightweight, easy to use tool for researchers to use when they are crafting their data management plans. So data management plans are the thing in the grants that people have to fill out to make sure that uh, the funder knows that they're gonna take care of the research data that's created. Um, a libraries and data librarians that get involved in this process and the DMP tool um, helps the librarians as well as um, the researchers uh, answer the questions in the way that the funder wants them to and make sure that they're compliant with the funder guidelines. It's a really great tool. Um, over 200 institutions use it worldwide, and um, it's something that adds a lot of value, not just to the researcher community, but also to the, um, the library community because it creates a connection between libraries and researchers right as they're going through their grant process. It's a very simple interface. Um, as you can see here, there are templates for multiple funders, um, and it's a simple dashboard, and it's a WYSIWYG kind of interface where you answer questions, and at the end of it, a PDF is, is created that you can include, um, or a Word document that you can include in your grant proposal. So the, the question is like, why am I bringing this up today? Um, you know, this is an open infrastructure project, but one of the reasons why I'm bringing it up is because um, of what we did with uh, DMP tool. So just as you may or may not know about DMP tool, you may or may not know about DMP online, which is almost an identical project that was that is run out of the uh, Digital Curation Center in the UK that is doing um, data management plans for, uh, for researchers, but with a little bit of uh, a European focus uh, or a UK focus. And we knew about this project from the beginning and there, was, there were reasons why we uh, originally set off on our own path and both projects were continued. But over time, we, both projects found that we were underfunded, under-resourced. And so why I wanted to bring this up today is because we are a success story in the sense that we have decided to, or we did decide to um, merge our, our teams and merge our code base. Why have two, two, two scholarly communications infrastructure uh, tools that do exactly the same thing, but with different spelling um, for UK and US English? Um, why not have funder templates that are global instead of just US and Canadian focused versus uh, European focused. Why not have a single code base that then other people uh, around the world can, can jump in and get involved and add their funder templates as well. And so that's what we did. Um, we have a new uh, code base that we call Roadmap that is now powering the, both the DMP tool and the DMP online platform and is the platform that is being used for other uh, countries or other jurisdictions, uh, DMP uh, helper uh, type products, such as the DMP assistant in Canada, um, and uh, one in Portugal, one in Brazil, one in Estonia. Uh, so it has become a, a truly a global international effort. And it's also meant that because of that, we can start thinking about the progression of the subject area at large. Instead of focusing on how to make the best WYSIWYG, we can start talking about how to make the best data management plans. And so we have joined forces with international broad uh, groups like RDA and DataSight to say, why can't we think, now that we have a single platform, a single technology, why can't we start thinking about what the future of DMPs as an, a unit can be and how we could affect change at a, at a much broader scale than we could when we had our individual, individual projects. And so that's it. The point of this is to showcase that when you come together, when you have joint roadmaps, when you start working together, that you can create synergies and you can create value and you can start focusing on what really matters to your, to your product.